I want to officially welcome everyone to this group, this three weeks intensive learning boot camp on building construction softwares like the Revit architecture, the Flutter structure, the AutoCAD and your plain Swift, right? So these are basic softwares that every person that is into building construction or that is intending to go into building construction should be aware of. Now the advantages of learning this software are massive. There are, there are a lot of benefits. Even if you are not using them, as long as you are into building construction, it is wise and it is ideal for you to actually have the knowledge of basic knowledge of these softwares because it will help you be able to interpret joints properly on site to be help you be able to even save cost right for in building construction like um, when you're designing um when you're building for your clients right so there are a lot of benefits i was telling somebody one of the days i said if i want to build a house for myself right um the cost i'm going to spend in building the house for myself is going to be less compared to somebody that is not um that has no idea of building construction to build the house for himself you understand so it will help you a lot in saving costs in improving efficiency and a lot of other stuff right so as you know revit is an architectural building design software for 3d right 3d modeling of your building realistic rendering and you can even make video walkthroughs um in revit Take for example, you want to have a video tour of how your video looks like, you can do that in Revit, right? AutoCAD basically is a basic software that everybody should know, right? It's uh, one of the first software that actually came up in 1987 in the construction industry. AutoCAD was the first software. So, after AutoCAD came up, other companies started bringing up other ideas and started making Revit, making SketchUp, making... Um, very and a lot of other software, but AutoCAD is the first, and it is still a fundamental software because AutoCAD actually helps you improve your. You know, AutoCAD basically is a computerized version of manual drawing, right? You know, with manual drawing, you use your pencil, your scale, your eraser, your sheets to draw on paper, right? You know, the advantages of manual drawing is actually that it helps you improve. It actually improves your creativity in the sense that you can you are visualizing everything that you are drawing right if you want to draw a window you have to visualize it and you draw it and you draw the elevation you have to draw the section separately you have to draw the the front view the left view and all the side views right so it helps you imagine effectively right the same thing with autocad autocad uses lines commands like lines circles eraser and um, delete which is also like the eraser command um, and other things so it is actually the same thing per se right just that in manual design you are using pencil and scale but in autocad you are using lines you are using a mouse and a computer it basically is the same thing but i would advise every person to actually have a knowledge of autocad because it actually has a way of improving um how you are able to interpret Joins when you see them, right? Now the next one we have is Prota Structure. Of course, Prota Structure is a very robust software for structural design, right? If you are using it for, if you are wanting to design your reinforcement and um, drawings for your columns, your beams, your slabs, your foundation, whatever type of foundation, pile foundation, raft foundation, strip foundation, a lot of them. So you can use Prota Structure. Prota Structure helps you analyze your load whether that building can be able to stand the test of time and uh, it also helps you determine the kind of reinforcement and the sizes of the structural members that should be used in the construction. Now, Plain Swift basically is a material estimation software. You know, sometimes when you do a design for a client or you want to, um, you have a job for a client, you might need to have a, what they call bill of quantities, right, for that project. So you are able to estimate the total quantity and cost of cement, sand, aggregates, iron rods, boards, um, interior decor, and whatever. So Plain Swift helps you determine the quantity of materials that should be used in the building construction and the cost as well, right? Depending on the cost, the prevailing cost of these materials in your area. 
right? So these are the softwares that I'm going to be training on in this bootcamp. And uh, the softwares, of course, they are separate, so you can choose the one you want to register for, whether it's Revit, Prota Structure, um, Prota, uh, Revit, Prota Structure, AutoCAD, or Plain Suite, right? And each of these courses goes for three weeks, right? Three times a week, right? For three weeks. That is a total of nine classes. And these are going to be intensive classes, guys. They are going to be intensive, meaning that we are going to be running the pro running real life project. We are going to be um, giving assignments back to back. We are going to be and we have to be up to speed. How I'm going to structure the training is such that when we have a class, the next day is going to be a day for assignments and projects. So you would have to complete what um, the project I'll be giving, then the upper day will come back for class. So it's going to be intensive and intensive training. And I really suggest that you shouldn't miss this opportunity. As a matter of fact, it's an opportunity. The price I'm going to be, I'm charging already is already low, but I believe, um, I believe um, if I'm able to train a number of persons, it's, it's, it's good for the industry. The industry. I'm talking about this, the engineering industry because we hear a lot of um, um, substandard construction, substandard design here and there, especially where I'm in Lagos, right? So, some one of the days, somebody gave me a design that somebody did a structural design, and I looked at it. I was like, the person that did this design. I don't think the person has graduated <laughs> from the university because the design looks so amateur, so. Um, it doesn't look professional, right? And the client is willing to take that design to the site to start construction. So these are some of the things that um, need to be curtailed with proper training and proper um, mentorship, right? So these are what I'm going to be offering in this course. So the first free class is going to be holding next Sunday, that is a week today. So I'm going to be having a free class where I'm going to introduce this software to you, what you are going to cover what the software can do, yeah, and a lot more. Why the training itself will start the upper sun, the upper week that is on the 13th of May, right? So you have a lot of time to prepare financially in terms of managing your time and all that. So this video is already too long. So I'm going to see you uh, soon. Just get yourself prepared. So this is just a video I thought of making this morning to introduce uh, myself and. Um, the training to you. As you all know, I'm an engineer prosper Koye. I've been practicing for more than eight years now in construction, especially in the design aspects, right? Yeah, so we'll see in the next one.